<laughs> In three parts. Daddy, 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 daddy. Do -de oh, oh, man. What's up, YouTube? My name is Julian. I am a professional musician and a studio guitar player. And today, I'm going to be reacting to the soundtrack of the game Persona 5. Well, just a couple of them. Last surprise and life will change. And I'm actually pretty excited about this because I used to play this game. I played it like, I don't know, years ago and I loved everything about this game. I love RPG games, JRPG games, turn-based games and bro, this game was actually a really pleasant surprise in every aspect. What do I remember about the music of the game? Not much, just that it was really tasty um, kind of unique and a little bit dynamic, you know, but nothing concrete, nothing specific. It has been a while and honestly, at that time, I didn't pay much attention to the soundtrack of the video games and stuff. I just played the games because, well, playing the game and enjoying shallowly the music. So it's not a first time reaction per se, but it kind of actually is. Feel absolutely free to comment, like and subscribe. It helps this channel's community to keep growing more and more. And I'm telling you, this is great. This is a great community of anime lovers, Japanese music enjoyers, lovers of movies, anime, video game soundtracks, anime shows, well, a lot of weeb beautiful stuff. You can also check my Patreon page, the link is in the description below for supporting more this channel with a lot, I'm telling you, well, not that many, but quite some benefits, you know? A shout out if you're watching this video over Patreon. I'm eager to do this and re-experience this soundtrack as I should have since the first time, with a freaking headset on. So no further delay, let's get into this. Man, now I remember. Oh my god, I'm listening to things that I never listened to before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see your keyboard player and bassist also. Oh my god. Bro. Oh, this bass player is even tastier than I remember. Listening with headphones is obviously another level, another kind of experience. Bro, this was really freaking dope. We have an introduction, right? With these cuts. The strings are doing the main melody, but this main melody we kind of can divide it in three parts. The first daddy daddy, the second one daddy daddy, and the last two notes daddy 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 daddy. Right, each one of them is a part of this melody, and each part is supported by the rhythm section. Yes, the drummer and the bassist are supporting the beginning of these phrases. It's like daddy daddy. Daddy daddy, dem, daddy daddy, daddy daddy, dem. right? Also, the keyboard is doing with a really interesting jazzy tone, the same melody as the strings. These strings with a really discoish tone, you know? Beautiful. But another really interesting stuff is that the bass player is playing two notes in these cuts. I think that he's playing fifth intervals. <laughs> Uh, only at the last phrase, at the third and last phrase, he's doing the, the fifth interval. <laughs> Gotta love it, bro! <laughs> and bro, now the keyboard has an even jazzier and tastier and funkier kind of organ tone 
but the keyboard player is going to do a nasty chord in some part a really jazzy chord i think that he will play a chord one half step above the actual usual chord he plays so he will be playing outside for a little bit Again, don't you know what just happened? Oh, oh, it was not above, but below, actually below, excuse me. It's actually half step below the normal usual chord. And that gives us for a little second the glimpse of being outside the actual harmony. That's beautiful. And I love that. I love this kind of jazzy resources every time. And bro, the groove of the bass player is unreal. Him. Oh, bro. The subdivision and taste these guys have. Top tier. You see, I remember it finally. Okay. Also, some syncopated right playing from the drummer. <laughs> Bro, this bass player is, is like an elephant, you know, on a rampage, devouring everything. Wow. Near him. With taste. Again, again, the crazy, beautiful outside chord. <laughs> Where is this song played? I don't remember it. Ah, oh, you'll never see it come. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. This is like, I don't know, telling us about Joker. That was the main character's name. Well, you know that we can name him as we want, but he actually had a name. It's it's like a nickname. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I love it. I love it. This string section is really, really disco-like, you know? Because the arrangement, the little subdivisions they do here and there. And also notice how these strings are different than, I don't know, let's say an orchestra string section. Why is that? You can listen, if you listen closely, that the timbre of these strings on the Persona 5 OST is kind of brighter. And I think that's due to not only mixing and interpretation and intention, but the fact that maybe they don't have an entire string section for the soundtrack. Maybe we only have violins and that's all. I actually think so, you know. Damn this bass player, bro! Oh, <laughs> this bass groove is a blessing in my face. Send it. Oh, keep sending that blessing. Yes, sir. It's coming in my face. The blessing. The blessing. Yes, sir. That's the mind of Joker. Probably. Well, my character was named Jules, I think. Also, also, I can't overlook the singer. She's just great, and her sound is so, like, so signature, you know? Since she sang, I kind of remembered, well, the tone of the voice of the entire soundtrack. Just the tone. I think that this was played, like, in, in battles, wasn't it? 
when you were randomly walking in the game and and suddenly a wild pokemon appeared well you know what i mean <laughs> yes that's actually true isn't it correct me if i'm wrong but i actually think this wow a surprise you have so many beautiful details to notice to appreciate it but i'm telling you i can't get over the freaking bass player he's just overwhelmingly good he plays a lot but everything he plays is necessary everything he plays is tasteful always and that's kind of a signature element of funky music but not every time you can actually appreciate and and enjoy a bass line as wild as this one well next one and last of today is called life will change and bro my life already changed since i played this game and it's still changing because of actually listening carefully to the soundtrack oh you say give me this funky guitar scratch Actually, the bass is also doing the same rhythm motif up until now because it's going crazy. Now the bass is going crazy. Damn! Okay, it's okay! It's beautiful, bro. It's actually wonderful because at first we only have this. The drummer playing subdivisions in the hi-hat most probably 16th notes yeah 16th notes doing whole notes with the kick drum and the guitar scratch bro which is also based on 16th notes he's accenting these hits tap that up tap that up tap that up but he's always playing 16 notes with his right hand and these 16 notes well are obviously so synchronized with the drummers playing the bass player supporting the guitar riff doing exactly the same the same rhythm tap 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 but after a few measures well it goes crazy bro it starts like walking dancing across the fret now two three four Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's a beautiful groove there. Also, some synths, some kind of atmosphere keywords for a second. Oh, I cannot get tired of this, bro. Naturally, the singer is so freaking great, bro. Because she, I don't know, is singing so steadily. Oh, we also have a, an organ playing opera chords here. Oh, oh bro. Listen to this chromatic descending pattern. Damn, it's like I don't know, we are descending into the abyss. We are descending into the freaking um, alternate reality metaverse that this game was about, bro. That's how this little section sounds to me. Listen to that. Oh. Oh. We still have the guitar scratch, but it's really back, really low, really low on the mix. Oh, oh, now we have distortion and open chords from the guitar. Can hold... Uh, what? Wow. Oh, bro! <laughs> Took the mask off? Oh my god! No way! Wow! Well, the life of these guys definitely changed. 
to have like a little kind of organ solo. Really minimalistic, but it's still a solo, I can say. Well, no, it, it's not a solo, it's just like uh, the organ part. But, bro. Wow, interesting, interesting. We're back to clean electric guitar, thank you. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this chorus is crazy, bro. Oh, you're creeping, bro. Oh my god, oh, that actually happened, right? That, like, the brain of the people were, were messed up. Okay, I want to point out something really dope about this chorus is that the singer sings her part and the strings actually is responding to it, is answering. It's pure art, pure and wonderful arrangement technique and skill. It's kind of, you know, it's nothing ultra fancy, but oh, how was that? How was that? Okay, first melisma we have from the from the singer. Or actually, I'm pretty busy listening to all the other stuff, and just now listen to the melisma. Hey, beautiful. In the island. Oh. oh, bro. <laughs> oh, again. Oh, no. These lyrics are really confusing. <laughs> Oh man! Oh! Are you listening to the bass? It reminds me of I don't know, yeah, funky music. But this um, specific rhythm cell has been used in well a plenty of of genres. Uh, I think that you can actually listen to it in. Last train to London. Last train to London. Also, you can listen to that, to that rhythm cell, even on metal music, or, um, for example, in Iron Maiden's music, Steve Harris, but he plays it well a lot faster and with a rhythm sensation, it's really different. Because here. The bass line is but in metal is Oh, bro, I can't get enough of I don't know about you, but... Okay, we're descending into this fucking metaverse again. Okay, he's playing a little bit with the blue you note. Know can hold on or life won't change actually life changing is a must it's a constant in life took the mask off to, to feel free that's what joker did what i did okay again we have this um this section with, with a little bit of a space i would actually want a solo in this part you know what I, I would, I will actually do one. I will jam a little bit, improvise to a little piece of the song. I will check the end of the video for that, which is imminent, but okay. 
Oh yeah, it was it was almost over, no way, bro. What can I tell you? Let me know what is your favorite Persona 5 soundtrack song. Let me know in the comment section if you actually want me to jump to improvise a little bit to to at least a part of the song. Wait, wait, what? This doesn't make any sense at all, bro, because uh, I don't know, even if you don't want, I will do it. So if you don't want, this is the end of the video for you. Thank you very much for watching this with me and re-experiencing this hell of a soundtrack. And if you're actually down to a little bit of a bonus section in this video, well, it starts now. Let's do this. Oh,